Halloweens. I hope you're all going to be able to hear me well because I'm going to show you. So if you can't hear this, I apologize for bumping you. I have a new microphone. And if it's working properly, then you should be able to be hearing me very well instead of just on the audio on my iPad here. So this, um, actually, you know, quick update because it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded. So I just wanted to let everybody who does actually, you know, watch and enjoy watching me know that I had some mental and physical health issues. Everything's fine now. I'm also medicated now. <laughs> Migraines. I had I had a migraine too. So health issues are the reason why. You didn't get any videos for like two weeks. You also, also the reason why I did not do or upload a anti-Valentine's Day look and a Valloween look. And I mean, I have like three other videos I think that I could edit and post, but I just, I didn't feel like it, if I'm being completely honest. So with that being said, we're going to move on now. And this, this video is probably going to be quite short because this is going to be a review video and then I'm going to record another video. So the first video I want to do is going to be a review video real fast. It's on this product that I've seen other people review. I don't know if this is the exact same product, but I found this on Amazon. I cannot pronounce this name. It is like... A-L apostrophe I-V-E-R. But the packaging is quite pretty. It, it really is. And this is what it looks like. Now when I ordered this, <clears throat> and this is why you have to be careful about Amazon, it said foundation. But on the front of this, it says concealer. So... I don't know if I should try it out as a concealer only, or a foundation, or both. Maybe I'll just do both. So, as my own little disclaimer, I'm not going to do a wear time test on this if I don't like the way it makes me feel. If I don't like my the way my skin feels, I don't like the way it makes like if, if I don't like the way it's setting my skin and I definitely if I don't like the color of it I will not do a wear time test I will be taking it off this is one of those that I had seen it's white the stick is white there's the, the little blending brush so we'll try that out but I before I show you this stick I'm going to tell you I did take it and swatch it on my hand when I swatched it on my hand it left a color kind of on the stick. You can't see it as much, but I took a sponge to try to wipe it off to make it completely white, and apparently this is the, my, my sponge's foundation color. Because there's like some kind of chemical or whatever, there is some way that it's made, it's supposed to like go with your pH balance of your skin and other sciencey nonsense and become the color of your skin. So, it is a white foundation. And also, before I review this and put this on my skin, I am going to tell you that I 100% wholeheartedly believe that one shade does not fit all. There is no way that this white stick can fit the lightest of the lightest skin tone to the darkest of the darkest. And I'm just trying it out because I am white. I'm very white. I'm not the lightest of the light, but I'm quite white. However, this is not going to work for everybody. I already, I can already tell you that. And I'm, I don't have high hopes for myself, but this is not going to work for everybody. And I can already tell you that 100%. I'm just trying it to try it. And if you don't believe the way I believe, bye. We'll miss she around here, but seriously, this is not gonna this is not gonna fit everybody. If I don't like this, 
I probably will just throw it away. I'm not giving this to anybody else because I don't have a palette to put some of it on and then just all over my face. I'm just going to put it on my face and blend it in and see how it goes. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and use this as like a foundation. We're going to go. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to... Okay, so we got a little bit out there. The whole thing twists. Okay. And I had seen where some people's like, you've got to leave it on for like three minutes before you blend it. Otherwise, you know, you're not getting the correct color shade. And it still was not the correct color shade for them. But see, like, can you see the color on the stick now? I don't know how to apply foundation. Why are y'all watching me? All right. I'm also not going to leave it on for three minutes before I blend it in. We're going to go straight into blending. If it works, it works. I can tell you right now, though, I don't like the way it smells. I used that much. Do you see that? It was flush against the top. That's how much I used. Kind of wonder whether or not it goes down the whole stick. I guess we could try, especially if we're not going to keep it. So I'm going to take the little brush they provide. We're going to stipple that in there. Because this little patting motion helps to get it a little more blended. At least that's what I was told. You definitely want to pat more than you want to just scoot because scooting just moves it across your skin. And I don't think I like the brush. Does it look kind of yellow? Am I yellow? So this is another one of those things where in person the color does not look bad, but on camera I can see everything. Try circular motions. See if that helps anything. I don't, it's a foundation, I guess. Then again, it was marked as a concealer, so maybe I shouldn't have put it on my, all over my face, but. Just to test it out, you know, I feel like it looks very patchy. Nikki Tutorials is not going to go for this, I can tell you that much. Definitely not full coverage, very patchy, and on my camera, very, it, it looks quite yellow. So, we're going to let it sit for a moment, and while we do that, we're going to
Oh, so no, it's not the whole stick. Because if I use my eyeliner to test, it doesn't even go with, like, the base of this eyeliner. Like, this whole top part here is the lid, right? So, no, you're not even getting full product. I feel greasy. I don't like the way it smells. Like, it's not like a, a strong, overpowerful smell, but... Which is a good thing, because it's probably going to cause me a migraine if it does, because I have migraines now. So, um... If you're very light skin toned and you're uh, or you're a darker skin tone than I am or you are the same skin tone as me, I wouldn't buy it. It stinks. Um but like in person, it seems like it's a little too pink for my skin tone. It definitely does not match my neck. It definitely looks way yellow on camera. And it's patchy. So, I'm going to take this off. I'm not going to do a wear time test with it because I don't like it. And it's going to go directly in the trash. Directly. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and call this video quits right here. It's a review. About 10-15 minutes maybe by the time I get on editing. A very short video for you reviewing the uh, white foundation concealer cream stick. Look at, how, look at the color of it on my cleaner leg. <clears throat> so, um, if you liked this review, let me know. Let me know of anything else that you would like to see me review. Preferably not too high end. Because I can't afford too much high end makeup. If it's ColourPop or e.l.f., those are a little easier to come by or any other drugstore. But if there's like some kind of gimmicky looking makeup item that you would like for me to try out, just let me know and I'll see what I can do about it. So, I'm going to go get rid of the rest of this off of my face and gear up for another video, which is going to be a lot more fun than this one was. So leave me a like and a comment. Definitely leave me a comment if there's something else that you'd like me to review or try out. And um, subscribe to me if you are not, because more subscribers means more people, which means more possibilities. So have a good day, night, wherever you are. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Bye. Thank you.